And Mr. Green, do you know Tavares Buchanan? I do. And I would like to make a statement if I could. Sure. Um, with the court's permission, I would like to make a statement. I wanted to recant on my testimony given at the last uh, January the 6th source hearing. Um, in that hearing, I did testify that the source of Mr. Buchanan's bond will be coming from me personally. Your Honor, if he wants to make a speech, I would ask that it be in regard to direct questions rather than a rambling statement here and non-responsive to the state's question. Okay. You recant today. I do. Did you recant before the DA's office and the police department came looking for you? No, I had to, no, I did not. Okay. When, who first approached you, the DA's office or police telling you you were in trouble? Uh, I was alerted by the media and uh, retained counsel and my counsel contacted the DA's office and those conversations occurred. And you're here today to tell the truth this time, correct? I am. Okay. Now, would an agreement with the state happen to enter into you taking the stand today? Say the police said that again. Would an agreement not to prosecute you have been made by the state for you to come up here and to testify and recant your conversation or your prior testimony? There was. And if you testify, you will not be prosecuted for perjury, correct? Those conversations have occurred. And that you would not be charged with anything. Correct. We've we've had conversations. I, I really don't want to go into the, the well, specifics. I, we've we've discussed a whole list of things. Yes, I understand. But you're here today under the belief that you will not be prosecuted. Correct, Mr. Green. We've had those discussions. Yes. Okay. So that is your belief today. Yes.